welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a designer dupes video for shoes. This is a new series that I'm planning on starting so I hope that you guys enjoy it. I think you all know by now how much I absolutely adore shoes. They tend to be one of those things that really multiplies in my wardrobe very quickly so this seemed like a very apt way to start the series. And because there are so many different designer dupes out there that I've spotted, I have also decided to do a full blog post which will share a lot more designer dupes and where you can find them. So I'm going to drop that in the description box below in case you would like to go and check it out. So let's jump right into it. And the first pair of shoes I want to share are a dupe for the Chanel two-toned flats. Now you guys probably know that these are one of my favorite shoes in my wardrobe if you are long-time subscribers of me and you probably already know what they are but they are the Vanelli two-toned flats. Now I've actually got them in two pairs. These are the charcoal gray pair that I've got in the felted wool with the black suede toe. I just think these are really gorgeous and a really lovely alternative for the autumn winter months which we're currently in in Sydney at the moment. The other pair that I have which are a little bit more battered and worn because I've just absolutely thrashed these and not really given them too much care are uh, the um, classic beige and black version so these are really lovely i've worn them in so many different outfits and you guys will have probably seen them a lot in my what i wear in a week videos they're just such a great investment the leather is really nice and soft and these fit true to size so i got them in a us9 i'm a european 40 in designer shoes i'm going to drop all the sizing and the price information in the description box below in case you'd like to check that out but these are such a great designer dupe if you really like the look of the chanel two-tone flats but you do not want to pay the chanel price tag now if there's one pair of designer shoes that I get asked about a lot on this channel, it is the Acne Studios Jensen Boots. You guys probably know I invested in these a couple of years ago. I actually managed to buy them pre-loved on eBay. I think they maybe have been worn once, so they were in immaculate condition. And after owning them for a couple of years, I can say with assurance that I do not think that they're worth the designer price tag and I would never pay full price for them because I think there are so many incredible alternatives out there. And other stories have done a really great pair, which if they're still in stock, I will link them in the description box below. But the ones I want to share with you guys are from Mark Fisher. So these are the Mark Fisher version of those Jensen boots. And I swear they are such a dead ringer. They look pretty much exactly the same. And when I had them side by side, you couldn't really see any differences. They have that pointed toe with the metal tip. They have the iconic... Um, triangular elasticated pull tab at the back and they're just very much inspired by the acne jets and boots so these are a really great alternative i know they still sell them at nordstrom i've seen them at a couple of different retailers too so i will drop those in the description box below um, all the different links but i have to say i think that these are a really great alternative uh, they're super comfortable as well they kind of feel like slippers when you're wearing them and they fit slightly wider than the acne boots so a great one if you have wide feet like me. I will just say if you do plan on getting a suede pair like I have, make sure you treat them with a suede protectant first because you can see I've already gotten a few marks on mine because I forgot to do that. But these are a really great option and I think they're much more worth it and they're really good quality as well. Now I've actually got the designer version of this next pair that I wanted to feature and they are the Christian Dior Slingbacks. Now I managed to snap these up second hand pre-loved but they're actually brand new from the real real and they were a bit of a bargain in my opinion they're still expensive but in terms of what they actually cost retail I think I got a great price for them so definitely worth checking the pre-loved market if you are okay with spending a little bit more but I've got two different pairs of shoes which I think are really great alternatives for these and they are very well made so the first pair I want to share which are very heavily inspired are uh, this pair from a brand called Linear Paolo now I'd never heard of this brand before but I stumbled across them and they've got so many incredible designer dupes so I highly recommend going and having a look at their selection because they do have some great alternatives I saw a Renza Schooler dupe, I saw dupes for like Chloe shoes, um, the Gucci loafers, so many different ones but these ones really kind of called out to me and you can see that they do definitely have that very similar look to them, they've got the bow detail, the sling back, the heel is slightly higher on these and these ones are leather whereas the ones I've got here are suede but they are just they're so beautifully made, very well crafted and the leather is super soft 
very high quality and I think you get very good value for money with these. These do fit slightly on the larger side. Now I got them in my in my actual size. However, I have found that there is a little bit of a gap at the heel. So these are definitely more of kind of a spring to summer shoe for me. Um, but yeah, I just thought those were a really beautiful alternative. Then in terms of the flats version, because this particular style does come in flats, I found these during the shop up sale and I just couldn't go past them. Now, I haven't had a chance to properly wear these out yet, but these are from a brand called, uh, I think it's Jaeger or Jagger. Uh, and I just thought they were such a gorgeous, affordable take on the Jadior sling back flats from Dior. So they have that ribbon detail around the back of the foot with the little bow pointed toe. These are a beautiful suede. They feel really sturdy, like they are very soft leather though, very comfortable, and I feel like they came in under the $150 mark, so a really good price too. Now, a designer shoe that I've kind of seen a lot as of late have been the Jordan loafers from Gucci. I believe they're the Jordans. Uh, and I really couldn't bring myself to spend that much money on a loafer, something that I know that I'm going to wear a lot and really thrash. I just feel like I'd probably not want to wear them out of the house. So I decided instead to see if I could find something that was similar or as close to the Gucci style as possible. And I found these ones from Sam Edelman, which I think are a really great alternative. So they have that horse bit detail across the toe, which I think is really lovely. And that slightly squared off toe effect too. It's not almond um, and it's not round but it's almost squared off like the Gucci version and these are incredibly comfortable I got them my normal size and they didn't require any wearing in at all they I do have wide feet and I found that these didn't really kind of squish my feet in at all they were very comfortable however if I am wearing them for about 10 hours, I do find that the panel that sits across the top of my foot can dig in slightly, but it's only on the one shoe. Uh, these do have that sort of stepped back effect, so I think you can wear them with the heel pushed down, although I've never tried to, but a really great option, and these come in at around the $150 mark as well. Another pair of designer shoes, which I've seen a lot of really great dupes for recently, are the Rhea Slingbacks from Paul Andrew. So I've got them in this beautiful dove gray, and you guys probably know how much I really adore these shoes. I've seen that Country Road, which is an Australian label, do have a really similar shoe to this. They come in some really gorgeous colors. The olive is beautiful. I'll link it down in the description box below. And they also actually have a flats version of this shoe. Now, I don't have the flats version of the Rhea, um, shoes from Paul Andrew, but I do have these shoes from Everlane, which seem very kind of heavily inspired by them. These are the editor slingback flats. They sent these to me and honestly, I feel like these are such a gorgeous, classic, elegant flat shoe. Really lovely for the office. I am trying to wear a lot more flats to work just because I feel like I want to incorporate them into my wardrobe a little bit more this year and this is a really great option. These are definitely a lot more affordable than the Paul Andrew Rhea Slingback Flats and they're also really high quality too. They have quite a nice sort of stiff sturdy suede leather which does give really nicely, it relaxes a lot after you wear them for the first time. So yeah, those are a great one if you are looking for a sort of beautiful take on the Rhea Slingback Flats. Then I just got two more pairs of shoes to talk about. I think it was maybe last year that Chanel came out with these really beautiful pearl strappy sandals. And I really wanted to splurge on a pair, but I just couldn't justify it. It's really a lot of money to spend on a pair of sandals. I feel like they came in at about $1,500 way too much for a pair of shoes. But I saw these from Zara, and the reason why I wanted to feature them is that I've seen a very similar pair from a brand called Leaf, and they come in a pink velvet as well. So these are kind of like a black velvet, three strap sandal with pearls across the foot. They're absolutely gorgeous, um, and I just think a really great kind of alternative to those Chanel shoes, um, but at a much more friendly price point. The final pair of designer dupes that I wanted to share with you guys in this video is a dupe for the Coco Meals by The Row. Now, I have been eyeing up these meals for the longest time. However, again, they come in at a really high price point. I want to say they cost around $1,400 Australian, which is a lot of money to spend on a pair of shoes. So I've got two more affordable alternatives to these shoes that I wanted to share with you guys. The first are from Country Road, and you will have seen me feature these in a few of my videos. I've been wearing them quite a bit lately. They are these bow 
pointed toe slide on mules. I just think that these are really beautiful. They're really nice soft suede and you can actually adjust the bow tie on these too so that they fit your foot perfectly but I just really like these they don't have the heel so that's kind of the real difference between these and the mules from the row but I just think that these are quite a lovely high street kind of alternative to the designer version the second pair are definitely a lot more inspired and these are again from that brand Linnea Paolo so I found these while I was browsing Nordstrom and I just thought had to snap them up I actually really wanted to get the black but they sold out in my size so this is what they look like I just think that these are so gorgeous they definitely have that designer look for a lot less. They do have a more expensive price tag of course because they're made out of you know good quality materials they're not synthetic um, and they're a really nice soft suede. I did have to size up in these because they fit small so I went for a US 9.5 which is a perfect fit on me and again the ties are adjustable and yeah they're just really beautiful they have these in a few different colors as well so definitely worth checking out to see if your size is available i'm no i'm going to be checking back to see if the black version comes back into stock so those are all of the designer dupes that i wanted to share with you guys in this video don't forget to check out my blog to see all of the other designer shoe dupes that i have spotted across the web i also just wanted to take this opportunity to say a huge thank you to every single person who has subscribed to my channel um, at the time of filming this, I'm really close to the 50k mark and as a way to say thank you, I am going to be sharing a giveaway in an upcoming video. So please make sure that you have that notification bell clicked so that you don't miss out as I think it's going to be a really good one. Um, it's just my way of saying thank you for all of your support over the last couple of years. Uh, I would love to know which of these shoes was your favorite and which pair that you might maybe have in your closet or if you've got any other dupes that you would like to share with me. And thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.